promised, I'm going to show you how to set up your paint gun for acrylics. Now, before I start, uh, it should be noted that this video is meant as a compliment to my previous video about how to set up your paint gun in general. All right. So there's a lot of stuff that you need to know about setting up your paint gun that I'm not going to cover in this video because I'm really hoping that you've watched the other one. I'll put a link to it in the description, maybe even an annotation over here or something if I can, I'm not that good with technology, I'll see if I can figure that out. Anyway, I'm going to be using my Devilbus FLG4 uh, with the 1.3 millimeter nozzle. I explained in my paint talk video about nozzle sizes, why I use that one for uh, acrylics. So if you are confused about that, check out that video. If not, just take my word for it. You want to use like a 1.3 or 1.2 on a full size gun or a 1.0 or a 0.8 on a smaller gun. Is that the word I'm looking for? A mini jet? That kind of thing. Anyway. In my last video, I also showed up how I showed up. I showed how to hook up your regulator and all that stuff, which hopefully everybody knows. So now we're just going to go ahead and set this thing up. Okay. So for acrylics, what I like to use is 26 pounds of pressure at the air inlet. All right. Go figure. I'm pretty much already set on that. Alright, now the difference between setting up for acrylics and most of your other paints which re require flow is that you're going to spray a lot less paint out of here at one time. So, you should know by now, hopefully, that you have a, an adjustment on your gun that restricts how far back the needle can come. So what I'm going to do is screw that all the way in to begin with. I'm not going to leave it there. That's my first step, is screw that all the way in. If you're really comfortable with your trigger control, you don't even have to do this. You can just mist it on lightly. But really, if you're going to set up for acrylics, make it as easy on yourself as possible. Screw that thing all the way in so that all you get is air. And you couldn't get paint out if you wanted to. And then pull it back a couple turns so that you're just going to get a light mist. Now, I've got a panel here. I'm sure you believed me, but I, I decided to show you anyway. That I'm going to spray with some dark auto air sealer in preparation for a video I'll be doing later where I show you how to do a ghost flame painting technique. So stay tuned for that, I guess, if you're looking for a ghost flame painting technique. Anyway, so I'm going to use this panel as my setup piece, even though you should absolutely never do that. And then I'm actually going to paint it so I can use it for that video later. So I put my paint in. Now your acrylics, uh, they've changed the system. I like to spray mine straight a lot of the time, but you are supposed to mix them. Uh, based on the old system, it was nine parts paint to one part reducer. On the new system, you can over reduce them a little bit without too much difficulty. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, bring the camera in closer and show you what I'm doing for setup on this. I want to make sure that my fan pattern makes sense, that I'm not getting too much paint out at once. You know, all the stuff that you need to consider when you're setting up a paint gun. So let me bring you in closer and we'll, we'll get right into that. All right then, so when you're spraying your acrylics, I recommend you start with your fluid adjustment in pretty much all the way, quite far so that you get very little paint and your fan turned up all the way, okay? You can actually use quite a wide spray pattern for this stuff. So start with very little paint and just see what you're going to end up with. So you could probably not even see that because I've got almost nothing coming out of there. So I'll open it up a little more and see what I get. See that? Don't mind that blotch on the side, that's from something else. I've got a very thin mist. Now if I'm looking at this, it looks fairly even. If it looks really spotty, you need to turn up your air pressure a little bit or increase the amount of paint that you're letting out a little bit or reduce your paint slightly more. If it looks like it's starting to pull apart or fisheye, then you've got your paint reduced too much, okay? So this is actually pretty good. 
You need to be aware that the more paint you have coming out, the faster you can and should move your paint gun. And if you've got less paint, you need to move a little slower. I personally like to go a little quicker, so I'm going to let out more paint. Now, you'll also see that I've got quite a large fan pattern here. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm going to turn it down just slightly so I can get a bit higher concentration. On acrylics, you don't really want a lot of concentration, so that's why I'm only turning it down very slightly and letting out slightly more paint. However, as I mentioned in the other video, when you're looking uh, to spray something that isn't like this, for example, enamels, lacquers, urethanes, then you, you need to build up a reasonably wet coat of paint. So you're going to turn down your fan to get a higher concentration and you're going to allow more paint to flow out at once. Alright, so now with that in place, see it's getting a little darker a little quicker. So I should now be able to paint this. I'm going to just go ahead and spray out one coat for you to see. So you get the idea. <laughs> And, uh, and that's about it. That's really all there is to setting up for acrylics. They're very simple. It's, uh, that's why I recommended them when I was asked what paint is easiest to use. I believe that these are the easiest to set up and spray. Uh, it gets a little more complicated when you're working on other types of paint. But hopefully this gives you the idea for acrylics and you can actually start using them. So let's spray this real quick and that'll be it. Okay. You'll notice that it's very uh, <clears throat> lightly covered at this point. It's kind of got a mottled look to it, if you will. It really doesn't look like I've coated it. So that's something that's kind of tough to get used to with acrylics. That's actually what you're looking for. You're going to do four, maybe even five coats of this. So you want to get them all on there really lightly because this stuff doesn't have chemical adhesion properties. So you really don't need to lay a whole bunch of solvent on there so it can evaporate and make the stuff stick because it doesn't have solvent in it. The beauty of this is I don't have to wait 10 minutes to spray it again. I can go ahead and do it right now. And with that kind of recoat time, even though you need to spray it more times, you can achieve your sealing coat just as quickly, if not much quicker, than when you're using solvent-based paint. So, that concludes our video on how to set up your spray gun for acrylics. Hopefully that was informative and it helped out. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm still doing the Paint Talk episodes, so if you've got anything that you want to know, just either ask me in the comments or submit a video question, or ask on one of my other social media profiles. You can Check them out on my uh, channel page there. And I'll do my best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.